Today we are going to create a test from building blocks. Building blocks, or so-called subtests, are useful when you want to reuse the same sequence of steps in different tests. We will also cover some of the scripting possibilities of Repito. Our subject on the test is the Asana to-do list app. We will test creating to-dos and this is what our final test automation will look like. But first, a breakdown of what we are going to do in this video. First, we will create a navigation routine. Secondly, we will automate creating a to-do. Then we will automate the deletion of all to-dos. In the last step, we put everything together into a single test. Let's start with creating a navigation routine. We want to tell Repito to navigate to the right screen in our app. It's just two steps. We start the app and we navigate to the project. Since we might need this routine in other tests, we save it now to the library. Now let's record the steps which are needed to create a to-do. We delete the start app step because it's already there in the navigation test, the one we just created before. Let's also try if our routine is working. Well, looks great. Let's save it. The next step is to import the previously recorded navigation routine from our library into our test. If you think about the fact that every test run adds one more to do, we might need a way to clean them all up. That's what we are going to automate next. First, we create a click step which checks off one to do. But that's not enough, right? We want to check off to do's as long as there are still to do's left over. We will need a loop and that's best done with the script step. We start with a simple command. It tells the test runner to jump back one step. It's looking good. One other thing we need, we have to make this step optional. Otherwise the test would stop running as soon as it checked off all to do's. That's not what we want. We want to continue with running more test steps. Running this, we can see that the test runner never stops. It's caught in a loop. To get out of the loop and continue with other steps, we need to add a condition to the script. We check if the last step execution was successful. Only then we jump back to the start. So if no to-dos are found anymore, we escape the loop. Trying this. You can see that the test stopped because there are no to-dos left. Pretty useful. Let's save this automation to the library. The last step I will show is to add the test we just created to our main test. We open the main test and then we import the other one, just like before. Now there is everything in place. Can you see how the test routine is beautifully checking off all to-dos before creating a new one? I hope that you can reapply some of the techniques used in this video for automating your own test cases. Please let us know about your struggles with testing. I will try to answer your questions in the comments.